I'm Tabby and I'm here to share two finished knitting items. You may have guessed it is my turban and my um, shawl. They are both fingering weight projects. However, one's free and one's paid for, so let's start with the paid for thing that I actually finished last year. Um, so this is a Poison Girls turban. Amy Appella has a couple different um, knitting turban patterns that are kind of retro inspired and a lot of fun. Um, so this one, I believe, is the Angel Face Turban. It features a eyelet design and then ties. Um, some of our other ones have like cables and I think there's a plain stocking net one. I think they all have the pleat in the back. Um, again, it's a paid for pattern on Rowlery. Um, I will link it down below in case you're interested. This colorway is Penny Royal by Bay Street Yarns. Um, Anne, who runs Bay Street Yarns, is a local dyer to me. Unfortunately, it's really sad because she stopped knitting and dyeing, and she, I think, is no longer selling her yarns. I'm fortunate enough to live close to her, and um, she's selling some of her stash to me. So this turban is knit on size 3 needles. I use clover bamboo needles for this one. It is a pretty easy knit. Um, because it's a paid for pattern, I'm not going to tell you too much. Um, the most complicated part is probably the the pleats, but it, again, it's not too hard and it's fairly simple. If you are more of an, an advanced knitter, um, if you're a new beginner, it might be a little more tricky. So moving on to the object I finished recently, this is a shawl or shawlette. Um, it is the Wild at Heart Stripe. Um, there are two different versions of this pattern and they're both free. So the Wild at Heart Stripe is using two colors and you're striping it. The Wild at Heart is just using one color and you're not striping or doing anything. So again, this is Bay Street Yarns. These are fingering, if I didn't say that already. Fingering white yarn. Um, this is the Penny Royale. And then this teal color is the Bay. I had some yarn left over from knitting projects for last year's fashion show. I'll link that up in the cards. I didn't have enough left over to make the turban, so I went back and got a second skein of yarn. So this is made out of the leftovers from the turban, which I think I used most half of the skein of yarn for. And then the leftovers from the fashion show, um, they need the socks and berets. So it is an asymmetrical shawl. You start with knitting this side, um, and you stripe your yarns until you hit a eyelet section and then another stripe section. And then the last eyelet section you can knit however big you want or however much yarn you had left. This is what I had left, and then you're supposed to do four rows of the stripe at the end. I think I did eight because I was playing yarn chicken and wanted to use up all my scraps. And then um, you're supposed to end with a peacock bind off, but I thought that'd be weird because this is a plain edge, and then why have a fancy edge when you have a plain edge? Um, truthfully, I'm not a big fan of asymmetrical shawls because I like to have the point here and then that means this is longer than this side and it can come on come off or untied if I tie it so they're not my favorite uh, I seem to knit a lot of small asymmetrical shawls but I'd really like to um, knit more of a triangular um, not asymmetrical triangular bigger shawl that I can wrap around my shoulders I have knit one of those um, out of some of her like and I think it's time to go back and knit a slightly different one out of indie dyed yarns. Um, so yeah, I, I like shawls but sometimes I struggle to wear them. So I have paired this shawl today with a black. The Penny Royale does it have some black speckles in it. So pulling that out, I thought a black top was nice. I did wear this shawl with a all black outfit to work the other day. Just to, I think when you wear an all black outfit, it's fun to have a colorful accessory to make it pop. I didn't wear the turban with it. I think I can wear them separately and then together for extra fun because I like having my pieces match. My accessories matching is always goals. <laughs> so yeah, I recommend either one if you're a shawl knitter and you like asymmetrical shawls. Or if you're more of a retro gal that's looking for some fun accessories, I think the turban is a good choice. Um, or if you're just a person who doesn't want to do their hair and you just want to hide your hair into something classy, the turban is a great choice.
thank you for joining me on this knitting journey. I have a few more sweaters on the needles that are some are closer to being finished than others. So stick around if you want to see more sweaters for me because 2021 is the year of the garment for me. However, I will be knitting some other things as well. So thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to see more of my knitting. And uh, have fun with your own knitting. And stay crafty.